guys back with one more actually two more so today we are going to introduce a couple of things one is the navigation controller as a module here so right now we don't have a module for introducing maybe a navigation control why i'm saying it's required is uh, it's convenience like you can include this navigation builder and generate a navigation controller out of it and uh, then actually uh, pass it as a dependency to any of the other modules let's say i already have a home view controller right now that can actually consume a navigation builder and then generate that like a factory and then you can use it to add that as a root view controller the home view controller as a root view controller so that's the first idea or the first tutorial i'm going to do and the second one will be introducing the database so that's one big thing which will be happening where we will introduce realm database and um, have the add to cart working so i'll not have the cart screen right now because that i am reserving for the uh, tab bar implementation when we actually do a tab bar implementation in wiper that's a different module which i'll be covering in the next one so a couple of things we are covering today as two episodes one is navigation builder and the second one is realm um so let's get started so as you can see i i have uh, removed uh, in earlier episode we had a title uh, at the top but then i have removed it and because i'm going to Im include uh, the navigation controller and add a title to the view then so that's the one of the ideas i mean uh, ideas that i'm introducing in this one um and also i have enabled this add to bag button which works more like this whenever you add it uh, specific items Ideally, I'm going to use Realm and then get it saved in the database. Also, there is a possibility that uh, if you have a login enabled, that is again a tutorial for future, where if you have a login for this, and if you want to actually sync your uh, shopping cart in another device, then we can actually have a server integration created for that. So that's also coming up. So at least for this one, it's more like, um, uh, local database where you are not actually sa saving all these uh, card items to the server so let's let's just uh, bring in the navigation controller first so i'm going to i've actually organized this project in a way where uh, i have a modules right now i have a model layer there are some shared dependencies which are being added we have a view loadable which i had added in the last episode which is still there and i also have a ui control extension because uh, there was a need for me to actually use Xcode because I work with um, mostly with sketch a lot so I mostly pick up those colors from there and uh, it's easier that I can have this uh, I, I heard that uh, hex is right now available with 4.0 I'm not sure about it but then I have introduced uh, an extension and included those function which is coming from uh, another developer I just reused it right now so this is my primary color which i have defined which is more like uh, something which i'll be using all across the application to design or define that primary element of, for theming so i i don't have yet a theme manager or something so, but i'm going to use this uh, primary color as the theme color so whenever there is a requirement to add more colors like secondary or even a primary text color secondary text color and everything i'll keep including it here so for the time being i have this primary color which I have here and uh, whatever I'm trying to, going to do here is to include the navigation module so let me just include that as a group call it as navigation so you'll get to know what I'm trying to do because this is this becomes a reusable navigation view or uh, kind of a builder so let me create a class I'll call it uh, navigation builder let's let's import UI kit because I'll be using navigation controller so ideally this will have a function similar to the build functions which we had in the earlier ones so this will return a ui navigation controller finally that's what it will do but then 
um, we will have it in a separate place instead of having it uh, used or created everywhere wherever we require instead let's modularize it and make it like a factory or a builder so this is my navigation controller so it will last for a root view controller which we can actually pass through this so that's the view controller or I just call it as a root view which is a UI view controller that's what I'll be passing here so I can return it oh, sorry navigation controller so my builder let me make it static static builder function accepts a root view UI view controller and returns a UI view controller the UI navigation controller so some more bit of styling we can add I have some of the stylings already available I'll just use reuse those now so because the navigation styles are going to be consistent across different screens I'm just keeping it at one space which is a navigation builder so I have a normal text style and as well as a large text style so you'll see how it, it is going to work right now so let me keep adding those things right now so I have a navigation bar it should have a bar tint color which is a top side color which we will apply I, I have already defined as a primary color which I'm applying it over here then um, let the secondary color or the navigation bar tint color it's tint color I guess yeah tint color which is the color for the text I'll just keep it as white primary when when we are running the app you will get to know what color I have applied and some of the other elements like uh, title attributes title text attributes it's what I have defined here I'll just keep it as this and there should also be something for the large uh, title text attributes which I have defined here the large, large one so four things we have included so um, some more properties which I need to add this set it to false and as well as we say navigation bar should title should support large title so prefer large title set to true so, so pretty much what a navigation bar should want is whatever we want we have defined in this one so builder accepting a root view and then setting this so we already have a builder for home view controller if you want to embed a navigation controller in this one then whatever we need to do is <clears throat> to pass something like let's say let's create something over here in the navigation builder I'll just call type type alias it I'll just call it as a navigation uh, factory or something maybe which is accepting like a uh, UI view controller and uh, returning a UI navigation controller so that's the idea I have a factory I'm just defining a type alias which I'll be passing here I'll just call uh, using navigation factories so it's more like uh, if you want to have a navigation control then you use the factory so I have the factory right now available so factory ideally if you go to this it is more like it is accepting a UI view controller and returning a UI navigation controller pretty much whatever build we have created here right because it is also accepting a UI view controller and returning a UI navigation controller so that's what that's why I have created it as a, a factory so whatever I'll do here is I'll use this factory and um, factory is accepting a, a view a root view which is this one for me 
so I am using this navigation controller and passing the existing uh, root uh, or the uh, home view controller which created passing it here so it's now embedded or it, it is actually going to this if if you are actually calling this now let's say the builder so accepting this and adding our view controller as a root view controller into this so it returns now a navigation controller so this function call is actually doing the same like uh, uh, let's see navigation controller so it's asking for an argument so i'll pass that so whatever we need to do right now is to use that uh, navigation builder which we created so i have this navigation builder dot uh, build function i'll just pass this as a build function because this is the whole thing which we are interested in like the ui view controller input ui navigation view controller as the output let's compile and see so did that make sense so maybe we can return ui because it is inheriting from ui navigation controller we can still return it as but still we can return a ui navigation controller that's also succeeds so now the return type is ui navigation controller which is what it is accepting let's try running this and see what is the output boom you have a, a navigation controller with a large and a small title available right now so this is one way of introducing um, a module as a navigation controller so it's actually a builder which is which we are using to generate a UI navigation control so this way we can actually modularize many of the things within the application and make it in a way that um, we can inject whatever module you want to any other module and uh, without uh, introducing any de <coughs> cross dependency so this is one of the ways where it can be like if I have uh, a tab view right now and it has many other views which we need to add and each view needs a navigation controller it's simple now you just introduce this builder pass it as a dependency to your home view builder and start using it some something similar to this so this is what i wanted to cover in the first tutorial because um it was important that I introduced this element of how to actually add one more navigation controller, UI navigation controller as a module and then inject it uh, in, uh, in this one. So I think this was important and it must be interesting for you as well because we are also coming up with a UI tab controller in the coming episodes where it will again be a different uh, module as such and then it will also be built something similar to this so until the next episode and by the way the code will be available in uh, patreon you if you need access you need to go there and uh, subscribe to any of the plans not there is this plan specific to this project and you need to subscribe to that to get uh, access to the code and any other snippet or information about uh, even you can raise some queries related to the project either in the comment section in youtube or to go to the patron side and have your in uh, have your thoughts shared there so i'm available at both places so until the next episode which is coming up soon which is on realm introduction of realm as a database and then injecting that as a dependency to your home home interactor and using it so that's coming up pretty soon so until the next episode see you soon